<laughs> Hold me, sir. Hey everyone, Arshaka here, welcome you back to Destiny. In the previous episode, we did the last main story mission in the moon. I almost said the game. Not quite the case, we, we're about halfway there. So, uh, we do have a couple black wax idols for us to redeem for some good old uh, moolah. Some cash- oh, we also had an engram. Oh, ooh, is it gonna be better than this one? I'll be honest, not the biggest fan of this color scheme, so let's see. Ooh, it is. Ooh, for Sky Rifle. Okay, I'm gonna miss the hand cannon perk, but uh, 4 to 1 discipline? Yeah, I'm, I'm down for that. Alright, so let's see. What do we got? Ooh, yeah. I like. Alrighty. Um. Oh, actually, I was mistaken. Oh, I was totally thinking of a different item. Okay, never mind. Don't worry about me and the black wax idols. Oh, sorry. Excuse me. I burped. Anyway, this episode is going to be very fantastic. Why is that, you ask? Well, I will tell you in just a sec. All right, now, today we're going to be tackling uh, the strike on the moon, the summoning pits. Now, there's something I want to say. The last time I recorded Destiny was in, like, late November. Since then, there have been quite a few updates, and I want to go over um, all the changes that... Or at least some of the changes that have been seen since the update. But, oh my god, where do I even begin? Oh man, where do I even begin? Well, for stars, while we're trying to find our guardians, probably the biggest thing is we can now hold 10 bounties. Who we mama am I excited? Now, uh, some, of the, uh, some that I hopefully will be able to complete this episode. We got complete any strike without dying. <laughs> we all know how great I am at that. We have earned 9,000 9, experience without dying. Oh, the hell mouth. One sec. We can feel it. A hive abomination bred for unthinkable evil. We must pierce the veil of their summoning pits and destroy this creature before the hive unleash it upon us all. You got it. Um, just uh, real briefly, I'll just go over all these so you guys can see. I don't need to name them off to you. This is another big one, though, so pretty awesome. So in all, um, whenever you have the bunch of bounties in Destiny, you always want to try to stack as many as possible uh, just to be efficient with them. Alright, so you know what? I didn't even get to see who are we playing with. Oh. Hi! Hey, I'm the highest level guy. Well, this was your I'm okay with this. So we got this a, uh... Oh, what was he? I, d I think that's a warlock. Was the other person a titan or another warlock? Not totally... Oh, okay. Well, that's usually the shortcut I tried to go for. Guess it just was not happening that time. Whoops-a-daisy. Also, <laughs> God, I love that name. What does it say? He 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 nine 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 nine. That was a little too far down. have to go to find the summoning pits. Eh, it shouldn't be too bad. Uh, I think it is worth noting that this is one of the fastest strikes to do in the game. Uh, I think really only beaten by one other strike on the moon. All right, so already this guy looks like he might need some assistance. Also, it has been forever since I played this game. Um, so all that awesome uh, footage that I was doing uh, last episode. Might, unfortunately, be kind of uh, wasted, because honestly, uh, I am the epitome of Rusty. I mean, look how- okay. Look how many shots I missed with that. Oh, god. Yep. This'll be fun. Oh, hello, sir. Hello. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, upgrade. Um, when we get up to this door, I'll go ahead and invest in it, because why not? Alright, yeah, so definitely, definitely a Warlock. We need to you? get through. Yep, Warlock and Titan. Open that gate. Awesome. Now, I wonder, I wonder if he's a Voidwalker or another Sunseeker. That'd be pretty possum uh, if he was a Sunseeker. I'm just saying. Oh, right. Uh, perk, let's see. What do we get? Oh, yeah, melee kills. Awesome. Okay. Alright, so, yeah, that guy's using the strategy. Um, If you're playing this at the uh, Nightfall or the Weekly Heroic, Hanging out in this area, uh, no enemies except thralls will uh, come over to you. Oh, hello. <laughs> We've uh, woken the hive! <laughs> oh, man. That's a lot more than I remember. But, okay. Oh. Bad idea. Bad, bad idea. But anyway, yeah. Uh, no enemies except thralls will go uh, beyond these doors. So if you ever find yourself getting overwhelmed by the enemies, that is a pretty viable place to hang out. But since we're not playing it on, like, a really intense difficulty, there's really... In my humble opinion, just no reason, no reason to, uh, to hang out over there. So, alright, knights, yeah boy, 
There we go. Oh man. Let's go ahead. Awesome. Oh man. Again, guys, I'm I'm just gonna apologize ahead of time. Um, I do need to get my head back into the Destiny game. Uh, so it might be a little little rough after two and a half months of not playing. Um, anyway though, uh, speaking of the changes since last uh, last November, uh, if you'll notice with the uh, melee and the grenade abilities, now once it's fully charged, it actually turns blue instead of saying that kind of like grayish color, which in me is a huge change because before like a lot of times I would think that my ability was like ready to go. Also, where that guy is totally a sunsinger, which makes me all the happy. Um, but before it would just turn like a slightly darker shade of uh, gray. Which to me would really trip me up. A lot of times I'd try using ability only to find out that it was like a millisecond away from being fully charged up. Um, but now you can clearly see- oh, oops. I'll save you. I'll save you. Maybe. There we go. Awesome. Okay. Um, but now you can clearly see if you're um, actually ready to uh, use it again. Which I definitely find worthwhile. So, oh god. No, I do not want to die. Yay. So far, so good. Alright, now this guy, uh, normally when Titans use this ability, um, they'll have this like passive perk that allows them, um, essentially, uh oh, uh, to either give you more attack, more defense, or a faster recharge rate, but that guy's not leveled up enough to actually give that to us. So unfortunately, not gonna actually be able to take advantage of that, but hey, it is what it is. Also, sniper rifle! Wow, okay, okay, okay. Headshot? Not quite. Wow. <laughs> Epitomo Rust over here. Alright, now, uh, during this last wave, there's going to be a bunch of wizards that spawn. Again, you ever feel overwhelmed, definitely uh, duck over there. Uh, the wizards will kind of follow a little bit past there, but if you go all the way up to the ramp, there's like a little rock that you can hide behind, which provides, I think, a pretty nice spot to just kind of chill out at. Oh, hello, sirs. It is just a party over here. Cory, Cory, Cory. Ooh! God, I love that chain reaction, man. Never gets old. Ah, curse thrall. Ooh. Uh, whoever saved my butt, thank you so much. Oh, ooh, hello. <laughs> oh. Uh, you know what? Let's go ahead. Okay, let's not die though. That would be fantastic, actually. Hoo hoo. Hoo hoo. There we go. Okay. Um, so once we defeat Mormu on uh, Zerspawn, we should be good to go. Wait, that's on- no, Zol spawn. <laughs> yeah, uh, plot twist. Zer has actually been the uh, main nemesis of this game the entire time. Well, no fact, I know, but uh, true nevertheless. Or maybe not, actually. God, I just want to use the cyber rifle, man. I don't think it's happening, though, unfortunately. There we go. Yay, teamwork. He's gonna get him for yep. All right. Got it. The gate's opening. Alrighty. Now did I? Oh, I didn't. Yeah. Let's go ahead. Let's reload that uh, rock launcher. Lord knows we need some hot doogie in our lives, dripping down our uh, guns. <clears throat> I mean, what? All right. So this is actually a pretty decent spot where sniper rifles come very much in handy. Uh, case in point. Whoop. Ooh. Hey, I actually got like three of those, so, you know, I'll, I'll take it, I guess. Oh, not that time, though. I will say, um, when I use sniper rifles, whatever, uh, scope this is, this is a very, uh, zoomed-in scope, which really is not my forte. Like, at all. Uh, whoop. Rude! Alright, so let me get hee-hee-hee. Sir, what? Oh, god. Okay. <laughs> One of these days, maybe. There we go. Alright. You guys are just being the rudiest McTootiest. Also, really wish I had a, uh, a hand cannon that had a bigger clip. Because only getting four shots, not the best thing in the world. I mean, it could be worse, obviously. I mean, we could have, like, one. But um, I would definitely appreciate having, like, one or two more shots in the clip. Uh, but I guess, you know, it just kind of is what it is also. What are you doing? Get, get out of here, man. Okay. Sounds like we're getting closer. Uh oh. Well, they just kind of left without me, but that's okay. 
Yeah, that man, they totally just they totally just left without me. Wow. Remember last episode when we heard the roar and he's like, I really don't want to know what's down there. Well, plot twist, that's where we're heading. Alright, so I got some catching up to do, but there are some enemies right where they are, so hopefully hopefully that'll keep them occupied at least for a little bit. So I can actually catch up. Ah. You know, and I'm dancing with these guys and they're not dancing back. Ah. Everyone just so Rudy McTooty, you know? I saw you, wizard. Yeah. Ah, I think I sold the kill. What you got, son? Hmm. I feel like that's actually a pretty decent uh, auto rifle that the Mr. Wizard guy is using. Oh. Get out of here. There we go. Hey, I'm getting back into the groove of the headshots. Also, guys, no, we don't. Just, just come with me. We don't have to worry about those guys. Um, you really don't. You can just run past them, and you'll be totally fine. Boom. Okay, yep. Yep, oh, okay. There you go. Oh, boy. Okay, so shoot that guy a couple times to get his shield up. There we go. Set him on fire. Because, baby, you're a firework. Let him show them how your mom's work. Eh. Oh, don't slap me. Cool. Oh god. Uh, I'm stuck. Okay. Gonna get me my shield from reviving. Awesome. <laughs> I love how we're just like running around this one pillar trying to chase that guy down. Oh man. Good times. <laughs> Alrighty. So with that, we're already to the boss room. Alright. So uh, right off the bat, there's gonna be a bunch of thralls, a bunch of acolytes, uh, a few knights. And they are not going to be the best thing in the world, so I always like to try to take out as many enemies as possible. Um, I feel, uh, you'll notice, uh, right in the center of the room, there is the mighty Shrek of them all. That is Fogoth. Um, there's actually a lot of really interesting lore behind him. Um, actually with the ogre, with the ogres in general, I might go into that a little bit if I, uh, don't have much to say about the battle itself, but believe me, I will. Um, this is personally one of my favorite boss fights in the game, because there's a surprising amount of variety in terms of, like, how you can approach him. Now, um, I think how this works is that uh, Fogoth won't break out of his chains until you actually start attacking him. Um, either that or they're just, there's like a very, very long time limit before he breaks out. Also, alright, yeah, I think someone attack attacked him. Uh, so he goes ahead, he breaks out, and the real fight begins. Now, I typically try to take out a couple more guys before this uh, happens. So I don't know if it was my grenade that set him off or if it was just whoever's like right there who who died right next to him, which I'm, I'm not going for. That's way too risque. Guys, seriously? Christ almighty, man. Okay, well, um, I think I can go ahead and go for this guy. Wombats. Kind of like Wombats, but without the whoa. Yep, yeah, okay. No, I got him, dude. Don't worry. I got him. Okay. Um, so there are a lot of different things that you can do to approach this guy. Now, personally, I'm going to go ahead, right off the bat, I'm going to show my favorite strategy. Now, what I like to do is have two people on the ground uh, kind of hiding between these pillars and uh, shooting at him. Uh, something to note, his weak point is actually his belly, not his head, like the other ogres. But what I like to do, I actually like to jump up here and kind of act as bait. Um, whenever you jump up here, a lot of times you'll get the brunt of his aggro, meaning that the other guys on the ground will actually get a lot of free- oh, 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 oh. I don't even know what just hit me. That was not pleasant. Christ, man, was that a knight? I don't even know. Anyway, though, I like to have someone up there, um, because it's great, great bait to distract him while the other people just kind of wail on him. Um, but we already have the knight. Um, actually, that's something to note. I feel like knights have the easiest time not only getting up there, um, but just being able to survive, uh, more attacks. Of course, uh, everyone is just dying left and right on me, so that's always fun, I guess. Also, wow. MLG Grenade throws for the win. Yeah. Alright, so, um, periodically throughout the fight, Hive are gonna be spawning in. So, that's always a good old time. Now, I guess, uh, while I'm here, while I'm not dying, which is, uh, beautiful, I'll go ahead and kind of note the, uh, Nightfall slash Weekly Heroic strategy that a lot of people like to use. Uh, now, as it stands, the, uh, room before this boss fight is actually the safest room to fight Fogoth in. Um, oh, is it, is it cleared off to us? 
Oh, it might be actually. Hold on. Let me not die first. Ooh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Yeah, that's one thing. Folk out themselves, not that hard, but all the knights and wizards that spawn throughout the fight, very, very difficult, to say the least. All right, let's go ahead. Let's get uh, on bats. Oh, uh, no, he, he's already got him. Okay. Did, did Bungie patch this to clear off the room? I feel like they might have, actually. Or maybe I'm just being a dumb. I might just be... Oh, okay, no. Alright, so this room um, is actually the safest room to fight him in. Now, there's a very, very tiny window where you can actually, uh, like, shoot through, uh, right there. So, if everyone hangs out in this room, he'll actually be aggroed, uh, right outside there, you'll be able to snipe his weak point, actually, kinda like, uh, this right now. So, I hate that method, it takes forever to do, but it is viable if you're getting overwhelmed by Nightfall. Now, if you hang out in this room, a Shrieker will actually spawn right there. Uh, if you kill it, it pretty much, it pretty much means, like, instant death routine, especially if there's a, uh, oh, a thing that, uh, that does void burn, so... Uh, I'd, I always recommend going into that second room. Um, if you go to the third room, you'll actually reset the boss fight. So you definitely don't want to go past that one. So, anyway, that's really uh, this fight in a nutshell. Uh, he definitely is a bold sponge if I've ever seen one, so... Um, it definitely will take a little bit, uh, sir. Um, it's also a good thing to note. Try not to, like, stay bunched up together with another person. If you want to stay on the same side, um, that usually is okay, but, oh, dude, no, don't, don't, you're level 11, don't, oh, man, okay. But, yeah, really, the fight isn't too difficult, per se, it's just, guys, oh, my lord, okay, okay. Can we do this without dying? There we go, okay. Again, not trying to be a jerk, but really, I just, I'm not gonna go, guys, <laughs> stop, <laughs> Oh man. Also, really wish I had a sniper rifle with the uh, with the scope that didn't zoom in quite as much. You know what? Let's go ahead. Um. Oh, why? Did I, why did I do that? Oh, boop. Okay. Okay. Nope. 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 All right. As long as I can generate a few orbs of light, eh, I think it should, I think that should help a little bit. Also, we got back our abilities. So, oh no, guys! Christ almighty, man. Stop being punching bags. Oh, man. I mean, I know I'm one to talk. I, I get it, but like, man. <laughs> Alright, so, uh, I'm gonna go ahead. If this fight doesn't take, uh, or if it doesn't go long any faster, I think I'll go ahead and just start speeding up. You guys, I think, get the battle. Um, there's really not much more for me to say. Um, let's just hope that I do not die. That would be fantastic. Alright, also, ooh, some orbs of light. Very handy. Thank you, sir. Alright, yeah. Now, uh, unfortunately, I don't have a lot of brawn. So, yeah, taking the brunt of the blows from the uh, knights and the wizards. Not something I can really do. So, again, that, I think that really... Oh, God, please, no, 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 no! No, 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 no. Anyway, okay. Back to the speed up.
Oh my god. There's so many! Oh my god! Oh, oh there's that uh, shrieker I was talking about. That's what happens if you stay in that room for too long. I've- okay. W quick respite. I've never had this much trouble with the strike before. I don't know if it's because those two are level 11 and they're taking a beating. Um, but seriously, like... Oh, man. I, again, I mean, it's been a while since i played this. But I do not- oh, okay. I do not remember it taking this long. Like, oh my god. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. <sighs> oh my god, okay. I truly had never had that much trouble playing that. Oh my god. Finally, the abomination has been destroyed. The vanguard will be grateful. A creature of the dark has been slain, and our world spared another atrocity. But how many more hive abominations are still out there, growing among the darkness? I fear we may find out all too soon. Oh my god, that was ridiculous. Absolutely ridiculous. Also, I'm gonna go ahead and equip that, even though the defense is slightly lower. Ooh, that looks awesome. Oh, I like that. Okay. Oh, man. That was... Wow. Wow, I really don't have words. Like, okay, I was a little bit rusty. I feel like I didn't do that bad. I didn't die, which was very surprising for me. Let me tell you. 85 kills. Okay, so I was kind of an MVP. You know, nothing big. Ooh. I like. Ooh, we got all kinds of awesome stuff from that. Oh my god, and we leveled up, level thirteen. Awesome. Okay, well, wow. My thoughts on that. <laughs> holy, holy crap. Okay, before when I had played that strike, there were usually like three or four waves of um the like knights and the wizards, and after you clear through all those, which was you know a pretty big ordeal. After that, then, like, they would just kind of leave you alone and let you focus on Fogoth. But, like, that, it was just, it was non-stop. And it wasn't just a couple. I mean, it was, like, an entire, like, ah, it was, like, an entire crowd. And I don't know if that changed at all or if, like, the people I was playing with uh, before <laughs> when I was doing that were just, like, more competent than the people I was playing with uh, that time because, Lord, they were not really pulling their weight. I'm just saying, don't want to be rude, but, oh, why did I do that? That shotgun was clearly superior to that one. Whoops, a daisy. Um, anyway, though, eh, I digress, you know, I mean, it still would have been much harder without them, so, excuse me, of course I can't go a single burp without recording, but, oh my god, that was a nightmare. Well, <laughs> that was the summoning pits, normally I don't have that much trouble with it, I feel like if I had higher leveled gear, um, if I didn't, if I wasn't using hand cannon that only had four shots to it, I feel like I would have had a much easier time with it, but, it's all behind us, um, yeah, and well, well, hey, we end up, we got three bounty stun with uh, two more uh, well on their way. I'm surprised I didn't actually uh, get that one complete, but hey, I guess it just is what it is. Oh my god, okay. Well, anyway, that is going to be it for today. Thank you all so much for watching me play. In the next episode, we're going to be doing a patrol on the moon. Um, it's going to be kind of more of like a podcast style thing where I just talk about the game in general. Not exactly sure what the... Uh, uh, what the topic itself is going to be, but I think it's going to be pretty dang possum if I do say so myself. So thank you all so much for watching. We do have a five out of five golden chests. If you uh, didn't, if you weren't paying attention, the last golden chest was at the end of the Fogoth strike um, on the like middle bottom platform where the uh, where the ship spawned enemies would come in. So uh, that's that. The moon is pretty much complete for now until we do the DLC. So again, thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Also, we look awesome, yeah. Ooh.